Uh, this is audience opinion. I've got the winner. We'll see how your stuff stacks up. Wild Thing. Scooter. Harold Bartholomew. Our third place finisher today is Harold Bartholomew. Spirit and third place. I'd like to give you the honor, Mr. TV Man, to uh, tell us who the winner is. Scooter? Yeah. See the world's ugliest dog. What do you think? All right, all right. Now you guys are nice and warmed up, right? How about little Scooter? <laughs> okay, okay. I think that does it. Scooter? You're going to New York! World's ugliest dog is Scooter. Congratulations. How do you feel, Scooter? Good job, Scooter. And, yeah, how about another round of applause for Scooter? Yeah, the Spirit Award and the third place. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Do you want to hold yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sorry, Whoever's <laughs> taking the picture. Here. Hi. Hi, buddy. Here. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's huge. Just being able to put it out there that you know you don't have to get an adorable little puppy. These guys have so much love to give. We got a great night ahead of you. Sharpe Rottweiler German Shepherd. Prince comes from an abandoned litter in the desert near Palmdale, California. A dog you might ever meet. He brings a smile to everyone who meets him. Gets is a vacuum cleaner and bath time. Prince, <laughs> seven-year-old Pekingese. Wild Thing is a seven-year-old male who is no stranger to the Ugly Dog Contest. This will be its fourth time. Seven. Other than that, he's a healthy, happy, glamorous guy. Sanctuary in the Roland Park, California. Jenny Liu is estimated to be about two and a half years old and is a teen to work when she sneaks into everybody's food bowl. When she isn't volunteering or wreaking havoc at the dinner table, you'll find Jenny Liu screaming at a reflection in the mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Liu! Jones curbs the step, he throws his back end into the sky, and in one final swoop, he conquers all. But years of walking on his front row of legs have taken a toll and takes frequent rest drops, uh, propping himself up on his butt, which he uses as a tripod. Um, wow. Woohoo, Scooter, rocking. What do we think? Wow. Favorite up there? I did. It was Scooter. It was absolutely Scooter. But it was tough to come to that conclusion. What was it about Scooter that you liked most? I mean, I think it was like, you know, just the scooting on those front legs and just the shaking and all of it. Scooter is just amazing and deserved the win for sure. Uh, kind of Harold Bartholomew. I like the snot bubbles. We liked Harold, <laughs> but Scooter was, was it, I, I get why they grabbed Scooter. Yeah, he had it all going on. He did. So, he did. yeah. He was darling. <laughs> okay, you tell him. You're not the two You're right. So basically, why is. Oh, really? Okay. Come here. Um, he's like, what are the reasons? So Prince came in uh, from the desert and was involved in a fight for food and he was the runt so he got um, attacked here so he's only got one eye so he's missing this eye here and one of his ears never really sticks up and he's got this really long tongue. Um, so those are kind of his distinctive ugly features and he loves belly rubs as you can tell. <laughs>
You're eating a lot of grass, huh? His tongue's always sticking out, so he just picks things up no matter what. I think we're a little nervous. We're excited and we're nervous. I don't really know what to expect. It's quite the crowd. We kind of came for fun and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, no, yeah, there is a, there is a number, there's a list. This is Harold Bartholomew. He's a, um, at least 17 year old Chihuahua, um, a little rescue. He was actually dumped in a park um, and he was supposed to be out, like on hospice. They didn't think he was gonna last long and I adopted him and I've had him for um, close to two years now. No, he has no teeth, no teeth. Um, so that's why his little tongue hangs out. But yeah, no history. He was just dumped in a park, so an animal control picked him up.